I will be talking about the reason for desk rejection of uh, papers by the journals and uh, the strategies to overcome it. So this uh, shows the reasons the manuscript do not qualify for peer review process. So when a manuscript is submitted to a high quality scholarly journal, it goes through intense scrutiny. So there is a process adopted by the journal uh, and the scrutiny happens even before it's seen by the editor-in-chief and the peer review process. So uh, in fact, 30 to 50 percent of the papers do not qualify for the peer review process. That papers are uh, rejected and the rejection process is known as desk rejection. And you will get a mail, a dreaded me mail. Uh, that in quotes, I regret to inform you that it will not be possible to consider your manuscript for publication. However, rejection uh, is a part of academic life. So, uh, everyone uh, getting rejections, but we should be careful about the rejection. We should be cautious about the rejection. Uh, and we should uh, need to understand the reason for the rejection process. So this uh, desk rejection usually with a note uh, in the mail. I read the paper and could not see a, a path to publication. So the paper does not qualify for review, so rejected. So this is a usual language, usual not adopted by the uh, journal uh, uh, administrators or journal editors while in the process of desk rejection. So desk rejection means that an editor is not convinced uh, with your work is of sufficient quality, novelty or regard to earn a spot in their journal pages. Because every editors are interested uh, a high quality journals to be published in, the, in their journals, then only they will get the readers. They need readers and they need new readers as well. So the, every paper published in the journal should have a proper quality and it should convince the authors, it, it should convince the readers as well. So the major reason is the novelty of the paper. If the paper is not novel, the paper is not innovative, the paper not using proper uh, methods, if the paper not using innovative methods, the paper may be rejected desk. Okay. So this uh, slide shows uh, the words of uh, an editor-in-chief of a uh, carbon journal, International Journal of American Carbon Society, Dr. Peter Trower experiences. Uh, and he advises authors on how to avoid desk rejection and save reviews, editors and staff uh, time and frustration. Actually, if a rejection happened, the author, the, the, the author who writes a paper may be disturbed and he may be frustrated. And you know, and uh, the paper rejection needs some kind of reading by the journal administrator, and uh, there is a wastage of time by the staff of the journal as well. So if the paper is properly uh, submitted or sent to the journal, so we can uh, save this kind of time by the journal administrators, wastage of time by the, uh, reduce the wastage of time by the journal administrators as well. And uh, if the paper is properly submitted, the author's frustration due to the rejection may be also avoided. So major rejection, uh, major reasons behind the rejection. Desk rejection, uh, your study findings were not significant or novel enough. Uh, that is a major one. Uh, the other findings uh, are not significant or novel. Then the uh, editor seems that the paper is uh, not good for publication, so they may reject. Uh, they may desk reject uh, before uh, sent to the peer review process. And the journal editor is not convinced that your results are sig not significant, uh, uh, significant enough. That means. The result of the paper is not significant, that means uh, it's not convinced, the editor is not convinced with the result of the paper. And another reason is the study is uh, too narrow, uh, that means there is no wide anchor, there is no impression. So another one is that your data is not presented well enough, uh, the journal editor is not able to understand your figures as well. So the data is not properly presented, there is a problem with the figures, there is a problem with the graph um, figures, sometimes the figures may be duplicated. Uh, and uh, after all, the journal editor is not able to understand sometimes the figures as well. Uh, it's another reason. So there are reasons I am telling, that, that for the more reasons, uh, you used unsuitable methods, uh, your method is uh, outdated, 
uh, sometimes the old statistical methods used sometimes the method is not proper in the situation the scenario and sometimes the method uh, you know uh, you do not use the technique as well uh, the technique is the usage of techniques uh, technique should should follow some path but the the other violate the path uh, and sometimes the paper may be badly written uh, and uh, sometimes uh, the paper did not communicate well okay these are the another reasons so reasons the article contains uh, uh, you know elements that are suspected to be plagiarism this is the most important predominant reasons of rejection so whatever you have written that means you play uh, paraphrase some citations or something references as well but the citations are uh, seems like suspected to be plagiarized or your data points or uh, data uh, data are plagiarized uh, and another one is the manuscript is not complete it may be lacking key elements such as title authors affiliations is a clerical error sometimes uh, sometimes we miss the keywords sometimes we miss the author's details sometimes we miss the major text references this may be some sometimes a reason for the task rejection and so, uh, the, another reason is the english is not sufficient for the peer review process uh, the english the grammatical part is weak uh, uh, and the figures are not complete or not clear enough to read then the references are incomplete or very old or not in a format these are the reasons is the mo most important reasons are specified in this slide so this uh, for these reasons you know uh, your paper may be task rejected uh, no not sent for peer review process okay so in major uh, you know in major uh, majority times you will get a mail and it is uh, stated that it does not your paper does not fall within the aim and scope of the journal so while submitting the paper to a journal you should uh, you should uh, uh, consider the aims and scope of the journal what all the areas the journal are concentrating then only uh, able to understand these aims and scope uh, soon after that you will get an idea whether the journal is uh, uh, you know uh, centered around these areas so that our paper is you know uh, having a similarity of the approaches and the aims and scope of the journal then we can easily uh, you know uh, upload the paper to the particular journal but however sometimes you know uh, the, the paper written by us is not having any similarity of the contents of the journal then uh, it is very difficult uh, it is not supposed to uh, upload or submit the, the, the paper with the journal for example for the journal the material uh, is uh, job stress the, if the journal is talking about the job stress uh, but it's not uh, job stress uh, the journal uh, the, the giving emphasis on the job stress but it is not job stress the paper focus on the study uses job stress but the main focus is something different but some of the keywords are job stress but the, the core area of the paper is not job stress uh, due to this reason the paper was rejected there is no new novel area of the job stress okay another one is the you know there is no new novel area of the job stress uh, there are you know uh, prevailing studies prevailing literature which has been overcrowded or over researched the, a researcher you know uh, again he is focusing on the same area in which, which has already been done it is not proper way sometimes the paper may be rejected due to this over research uh, there is no new novel approach or no novel area of the uh, uh, research topic like job stress so here the job stress is an example so there are innovative areas of job stress we can focus and uh, the same time the journal should be the, uh, the uploaded paper journal should be uh, you know focusing on the job stress so there are other reasons that is a, the next one is paper is incomplete uh, incomplete in the sense that uh, the paper discusses the findings in relation to some of the work in the field but ignores the other important work there are we can connect the findings with the existing theoretical linkages but the other uh, you know unfortunately the other is uh, failed to connect the existing theoretical linkages the other sh other could kind of connect uh, some other theories but he could not connect the very relevant theories uh, which are uh, being connected with us the, the with the with the findings next the paper may be rejected because of the uh, uh, deficiency or uh, lack of uh, authenticity of the data analysis sometimes you know the data analysis is defective uh, the reasons are the study lacks 
proper sampling sampling techniques and the study follows defective methodology and uh, uh, and the data you know the research failed to, to test the validity lack of statistical validity of the data set uh, again uh, these are the another reasons so next reasons are the conclusions cannot be justified okay so conclusion cannot be justified if the conclusion drawn by the uh, author should be a justifiable on uh, uh, unfortunately if the conclusions cannot be justified the paper may be rejected as well uh, and the arguments are illogical unstructured or invalid mm, the argument raised by the the other sometimes uh, you know uh, it may be illogical unstructured or invalid the data does not support the conclusions the conclusions ignores large portions of the literature as well so these are again the reasons uh, for the rejection uh, i will repeat the conclusions cannot be justified the arguments are illogical unstructured or invalid the data does not support the conclusions conclusions ignores large portions of the literature part next this sometimes the paper may be rejected because of uh, some additional reasons uh, uh, sometimes the paper uh, the, the 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 journal administrators or journal editor identified that the paper you know paper is a recycled one recycled one and a big paper you know divided into different small papers uh, so this is a part of uh, you know recycling of papers so if the paper you know it is identified as a recycled paper the paper is rejected uh, it may be rejected in the desk so uh the findings are incremental and do not advance the field uh the work is clearly part of larger study chopped up to make as many articles as possible so this is a recycled papers so if you are uh, submitting recycled paper you may be cautious that the paper may be dust rejected so it is it is better it is good not to submit recycled papers to do a paper which is completely sincere uh, way next uh, there are additional reasons that is uh, incomprehensible so paper is not uh, i mean not comprehensible if if it is incomprehensible the paper will be rejected so the language structure or figures are so poor that the merit cannot be assessed so the, the structure you have written the paper the language you have written the paper the figures which are seems like is so poor that the merit cannot be assessed by the editor and paper seems like it is boring so the research question behind the work is not interest in the field so if the research question is boring if the research question is not justifiable the research question behind the work is not interest in the field the work is not uh, of interest to the readers of the specific journals so these are again additional reasons uh, for the test rejection this is a very important thing uh, if you have failed to submit the conflict of interest you know the paper may be written by 2 3 persons or 4 to 5 persons uh, together sometimes uh, after completion of the paper uh, we have to submit a conflict of interest uh, that no conflict of interest among the authors as well but sometimes the authors failed to submit the conflict of interest due to some some kind of conflict of interest among them so if it is a conflict of interest uh, among the authors the paper should a uh, paper should be rejected in the desk uh, so conflict of interest uh, is a declaration of the conflict of interest is a must in every journals uh, by the authors so while rushing to submit make it a, uh, make it a mistake again there is another problem so if we are in a uh, uh, rushing to submit to to the to the to the, uh, to the journal uh, sometimes the mistake may happen and the paper may be rejected as well So next, I discussed about uh, what should you do after your paper was uh, rejected without uh, peer review process. So once you get the dust rejection, and immediately you will get a mail uh, which shows that your paper is rejected uh, 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 such a way. So after that, should you submit your paper to another journal as it is the same paper? You know, the same paper you are submitting again. or uh, you will revise it or uh, sometimes you may you may submit an appeal to the uh, to the editor that you again uh, it sh- it should be a considered paper you can you can make it an appeal to the editor as well then sometimes you should you go back to the work and run more experiments uh, with the paper so sometimes you know uh, 
the 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 authors uh, go back to the work and run more experiment and the paper uh, convert the paper into more refined way this is another 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 uh, process in which the paper can be again uh, submit again the paper is rejected because of uh, some of the reasons the main reason that i have talked about this the novelty lack of novelty of the paper uh, so there are emotions there are frustrations soon after the rejection so uh, you should not reply to a journal editor while you are in a state of frustration anger or disappointment so uh, you should be ready to work uh, on your rejected paper that's a, that's a major uh, you know essentiality you should be able to take care of it and you can consult with a trusted colleague and upload your manuscript as a preprint and invite is another uh, another uh, technique you know you can consult with a trusted colleague and uh, you can upload the preprint version and invite discussion with your scientific community that could help uh, to get the suggestions and you can refine it as well then most journals require you to tell a story in your paper uh, so uh, well written paper should be concise and have a consistent structure as well so if your paper do not have this consistent structure or a uh, you know uh, you know uh, a well written uh, language you can again go back it, uh, go, go back to the paper and work again and the journal editors are usually interested in your abstract cover letter references discussion and conclusion so this part should be more important again you go back to this part and rework again then strategies uh, so there are strategies continuation strategies so to, to decide on a strategy is important to understand the reason behind the rejection so if you get a rejection report that shows the the part in which you can improve you can improve as well uh, you know how sometimes your paper is rejected without uh, without any comments then it is very difficult to understand the, uh, in what way the the editor has rejected your paper again the strategy is uh, reread these parts the very important part of the paper you can reread and with the scope of the and understand the scope it it, it is being part of the scope of the target journal in with mind and addresses following questions as well so did you make the significance of your research clear so you should be able to clear about your significance of the research did you avoid general statements and buzzwords when describing the potential impact of your study Uh, did you specify who is likely to benefit or interested in your findings did you specify who is likely to benefit or interested in your findings uh, <coughs> did you uh, reference recent studies in your field that were published in the journals with a similar journal impact factor so these uh, you know these strategies these questions you can address it Uh, the the most prominent one is uh, uh, did you make a significant uh, significance of your research clear so you should be able to able to make make the significance of the paper as clear uh, and uh, uh, and who are uh, the interested parties of your findings that should be specified and uh, <coughs> did you specify the uh, reason references of recent citations in the journal and uh, uh, this as well the last one uh, check the aim and scope of the target journal and who are the readers try to compare your manuscript with the paper that have been recently published in the journal and do you think that the significance of your paper matches the journal requirements yeah. so your paper should be in accordance with the journal uh, aims and scope then only your paper uh, considered so that is a very strict thing you can consider this the, this video uh, discussed about uh, you know uh, the reason for the rejection and strategies to overcome the uh, desk rejection thank you